Hello and welcome to a new episode of West Coast Turfcrafters. Yes, today, today it's a special night for you. Absolutely. Uh, birthday present from uh, Tim. Thank you so much, Tim. You're welcome. The Park River Top Recon CTM 3B. And I know this knife is very close to Shettle's heart now. Yes. So that's why we uh, bought a cow heart. And we're gonna smoke it and grill it later today. So check it out. Check it out. some specifications on this knife yes the blade length is 19.1 centimeters and the thickness is 4.7 millimeters total length is 32.8 centimeters and the steel is CPM 3V and handle material desert ironwood the the weight of the knife it weighs only 400 grams only yeah it's quite a heavy one yeah but with extreme good balance so it doesn't stick balance it doesn't feel like 400 grams no it doesn't so it's time for some batoning Now it's uh, time for some batoning, but uh, I would like to tell you first that uh, the first time I uh, I touched a top recon, it was when the Giro Steel came and uh, visited us, and I was very impressed about the balance of the knife and actually the looks as well. It looks like a very brutal knife. And uh, we had a competition where we had to make our own butter knife, and I made a butter knife that looks like looked like top recon. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> and he won. He won the contest. Yes. And that was the time that I knew. Okay, <laughs> this will be his next birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much. <laughs> So, so welcome. Uh, now it's time for some uh, batoning, and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a good batoner. But let's see. Unfortunately, we didn't have uh, big logs today. <laughs> it's easy, but it's also weigh one gram. It's uh, no problem at all. This will be uh, good to make some feather sticks with. Ooh, yes. So, Tim, do you want to try? Absolutely. That's a really nice one. Even when you don't know where to hit it, you have your point where you can aim on it. So, let's, let's see if that works. The ground is really soft. <laughs> it's been raining a lot. <laughs> Very soft. Let's see if we can help it a little bit. Yeah. Ah, uh, much easier. It's, it's a really good knife. It has a um, nice length for uh, batoning. And with the 4.7 millimeters, 
It works always. It looks very easy, Tim. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Sharp like hell. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Really nice knife. Yeah. Worked fantastically. Nice. Okay, small comparison. Uh, we always have 12 knives with us, like usual. And, um, but you clearly can see that the uh, the Taupe Recon, it's quite a big one. Uh, last episode was about the Tundra 3 Camp. Uh, it has a bigger blade, but um, a comparison with weight, I have to look at Chetel now. Yeah. Weight is the same, isn't yes. it? Uh, so um, I have to say, this one is very well constructed regarding balance and doing fine woodcraft work, like feather sticking. Uh, there is the top recon excellent. Uh, some comparisons, so you can see it's a little bit bigger than the Helen North. This is the Bravo 1.5, so it's b definitely bigger. Uh, you can see a big difference in the handle. The handle of the top recon is much thicker. I have to say that um, I would, I can compare the handle thickness of the LT Ride with the Bravo of uh, the yeah. top recon Bravo. They really comfortable handles mm. uh, for the Falcon Even lovers. Yeah, the Top Recon is a little bit bigger. Here we have the Bravo, so you can see it's maybe nice to see that the handle of Top Recon thicker than the Bravo one. Um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a really beautiful, beautiful knife. It has very beautiful desert iron wood. If you can compare it with the other ones, we haven't just done it. No, it's, uh, it's a beautiful one. A beautiful one. So, it's cool. cool. It was raining like crazy today. Yeah. And look at the weather now. Like usual, we're gonna test out with feather staking. Soon that will be I me in the fire and the smoking heart. Okay, the cool thing about this knife, it has extreme good balance. So. I think I will be surprised with this. And it's really sharp. <laughs> ah, this is so nice. <laughs> it just glides through the wood. It's you have to talk here louder, I think. I think this is... Uh, I think actually this is the first knife that you can actually say slices through butter because this is ah it's so nice looking good also a positive thing that you have 400 grams in your hand so it you don't have to push so hard just let it glide through your hand and use the weight to help you with feather stick. Ah, this is super cool. Very nice. So, how do you think? What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> I really like this knife. It's impressive, it's really impressive. Perfect. Do you want to try it? Absolutely. Well, now it's my turn and uh, at the same time it's getting a little bit cold here so we need to start a fire. It's uh, windy and it's uh, 2nd of uh, November. <laughs> well, this is extremely sharp knife. Looking really nice with the long girls set. Look at this. Ah, it's such a damn cool knife. Like you said, it's it's four 
400 grams helps with such a... You don't have to uh, use force at all. It's so easy. Eh? Just Very let it dry right over the wood there. Nice. It's a great feather sticker. Absolutely. So now we're gonna start a fire. Time for some fire. Uh, we'll start using a fire still on this side. Hopefully it is. It has been raining in the meantime a couple of times, so it is very, very moist today. But let's see how it works. How does the spine feel, Tim? It feels good. It's quite sharp. Maybe not that sharp like an uh, yeah, LT Bright yeah. as compared with LT Bright. But it's very moist. Yeah. Very moist. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Oh no, good. Ah, it's extremely moist. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? No, we're gonna starve to death today. Yeah, and freeze to death <laughs> as well. <laughs> Do you want to what? give it a try? Yes. <laughs> a lot of sparks. Yes. No. <laughs> well. well, okay. Then we have to try another method. Yeah, this doesn't work. We'll try to wet this side. Whoa. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> this is not easy today, Tim. Uh, it's extremely moist. You're very close. Oh, yes. Do you have yeah, it? No, no. It's nothing to do with the sparks. More fun, Tim. Yes. Voilà. Great job, Shadow. No more way for here direct. Well, it's not uh, knife's fault. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good uh -huh. Yes, so now it's time for some food preparation. Um, here we have uh, a heart which is uh, dismembered in uh, two uh, sides. Uh, we're gonna fry some uh, onions and uh, with some uh, swamp. What's called in uh, English? Mushrooms. Mushrooms, thanks. We have some Swedish uh, lingensult which is uh, a sweet flavor to it. We're gonna um, marinate with salt, pepper, and some uh, some other uh, spices. Um, so, I, and then we take the heart. We're gonna put it in this smoking pan. Put over the uh, fire like I would say 20 minutes or so. After that, we put just for a couple of minutes on uh, on the grill, and then uh, I think we have a nice uh, nice meal for this evening. Don't you agree? Hundred percent. Cool. Det här ser gott ut. Also. Det ser jävligt gott ut. <laughs> Här ser jävligt bra ut alltså. Det blir bra det. Jo, 
mer skit ju bättre han. Perfekt. Kan jag sen köra det ut? Ingen dålig food prepper det här. Oj 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 oj. Jag tror fan vad vi kan äta oss så. Ja, det looks really good. Very very nice. Let's make a, a nice outside with the grill. Ja. Slice of pork. You want a taste? Ja. <laughs> Tackar, tackar. Mm. 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 Ah, that's really mm. good. Yeah, we grill it a little mm. bit. Do we have to? We can do it. Smoked some uh, ox uh, heart. Hi, ah, yeah, man. With some uh, onion, lingonsylt. I don't know the English <laughs> uh, word for it. And uh, mushrooms. Boop. The knife, chef. We test out the knife today. Yeah. Conclusion. Oh. It's a Big, good bushcraft knife. And why is that? Well, still it can do all the tasks that we need. Yeah. Great feather sticker, batoner. Uh, the fired day with uh, wet wood <laughs> wasn't was not easy. easy. Uh, but it had a great spine. And as, uh, as well as the back of the knife. Yeah, you can scrape a lot of metal with that, yeah. A lot of metal from uh, this one. Uh, of course, it can hurt the handle a little bit, <laughs> like it's done here, but uh, we don't uh, buy knives to have it on the shelves at home. No. We, we use our knives all the time. What I was surprised over that was uh, so super sharp straight out of the box. Yes. And that we saw today as well. It is really easy to feather stick with it. Yep. Partly because it has a perfect balance. Yes. But also it is so sharp. And um, with this long convex yeah. and the weight of 400 grams. Yeah. It really cut like butter. Uh, I really the... liked that it was 400 grams. Wow. It uh, was I can uh, imagine. Good grip on the knife. Yeah. So that's going on to the bloopers. <laughs> and uh, also the looks of it. It's a brutal, brutal looking knife. Uh, that was uh, when I had to import the knife. I got a message that uh, I needed permission from the police. Yeah. <laughs> and I wrote a letter that we are bushcrafters and yeah. that we need to do this for our hobby slash work. So that's... Uh, and we uh, managed to get it there. Yeah. I'm really happy you like this knife yeah, so much. Yeah, I really like this knife, uh, Tim. I'm gonna use this one a lot. <laughs> That's great. Uh, now I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. <laughs> no, don't do that. But also, uh, no problem uh, as a food uh, prepper knife. Thank you for uh, watching. Now we're gonna keep on eat some more. Yes, yeah, see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.